Hello friends, I am Dr. Bhushan Joshi. I am consultant neurologist practicing at Manipal Hospital, Kharadi, Pune. This is our attempt to create awareness regarding most common neurological condition called as migraine. Let us understand what is migraine. Migraine is a disease which is uh, presenting most commonly with a symptom of headache. In other words, uh, it is most common cause of headache. Uh, among the patient who are visiting to a neurology OPD. Migraine is a genetic tendency and uh, it is um, expressed in certain lifestyle situations. So it's most common as I said it's the most common cause of headache. Uh, what are the other symptoms of migraine? So usually headache is focal. It starts at one point in your head and then it spreads to other areas. Uh, it is misnomer that it is always has to be hemicranial that is half of your head. So uh, headache, these headaches are episodic. Uh, that means one day patient will have headache, some days he will be headache free. These headaches are usually associated with some other symptoms. Most common of those other symptoms are nausea, vomiting like sensation, uh, irritation of light, irritation to noise and uh, mood swings, stress, increased anger or unexplained depression. These are most common associated symptoms with migraine. We treat migraine based on the frequency of headache. So uh, apart from severity, frequency is most important. That means how many days in a month roughly patient get headaches that decides the treatment part of the migraine. Treatment of migraine is mainly divided into two subtypes. We call them uh, medicinal that is pharmacological and second is lifestyle modification. First we will see what are the lifestyle modification I suggest for migraine. So uh, sleep is most important factor which triggers migraine. I suggest usually to have a six to seven hours of good continuous nighttime sleep for all migraine patients. Second is food. Uh, uh, content of the food is important but frequency is even more important. So first most important suggestion is to don't skip any meal. You should have your breakfast, lunch and dinner on time. Regarding content of the food, some food item can trigger migraine but they are patient specific. If you have identified any particular food which triggers your migraine then I suggest you to skip that food. But apart from that having food on time is sufficient. And third deep breathing exercises, meditation, stress management is uh, in very helpful in long term management of the migraine. We will speak about medication. There are two types of medicines. Uh, first is called as abortive treatment. These are type of painkillers or equivalent to that which will which we prescribe when patient have ongoing bad headache. These are to be taken as and when basis and certain medicines which we call as prophylactic medication. They are to be taken on daily basis. We usually keep following up patient every month and we request patient to maintain their headache diary. Headache diary is very important concept of migraine treatment. That is you have to maintain how frequently you are getting your headaches and what are the associated symptoms. More accurate you maintain that diary, more accurate will be your treatment. Regarding uh, another commonly asked question is why are you not asking me for MRI scan? MRI scan, CT scan, unless until there are particular clinical characters, we call them red flag signs are usually not recommended or if done, they turn out to be normal. So uh, your doctor will suggest you for a scan on appropriate time. Uh, don't insist for the scan. So uh, understanding your problem as of a migraine, improving your lifestyle and taking your medication on time is the best solution with this we can control your migraine. Thank you.